Um, how'd you fancy a day out? Oh, I'd love one. Are we free then? Well, I can be. Great, only can you take Ben to the audiologist for me? I'm, I do, but I'm tied up. What about Peggy? Well, she's got a pup to run, hasn't she? Is that a yes, then? Yeah, yeah, of course, no problem. Great. Hi, oh, mate, uh, Stella's got you a day, yeah? Great. <laughs> right, see you later, yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, at least that's a bit of time off school. <laughs> Away from those nasty bully boys, eh? <laughs> well, that went well, didn't it? A new hearing aid by next week. You'll be quiet, what's the matter? Don't feel wrong. Oh, you poor old thing. You should have said. Well, why don't I take you to the doctors then? They'll soon tell us what's wrong. Clever people doctors are. But they do ask a lot of questions, so we'll have to be prepared. We don't want to waste their time. Not with all the sick people that they've got to see. Come on, then. Better put our coats back on. Stella. What? I'm scared. You'll be fine. I'm going to school. Oh. So you're not really ill, then? <sighs> what are we going to do with you? You won't tell Dad, will you? I think we need to have a little chat about this, don't you? I was bullied once, you know. Girls are much worse at it than boys. Much nastier. I don't even know what I've done wrong. But I was in tears most days at school. I was always red-eyed and runny-nosed. What happened? simple. I fought back. There's loads of them. Ah, but there's always a ringleader. You have to get them and then the others just melt away. He's bigger than me. Well, then you have to surprise him, like I did. One night, I just lay in wait. She was a big girl, ugly, always scowling. When I saw she was on her own, I jumped out at her and I hit her as hard as I could. I hit her and I kicked her. Do you know what she did? What? She started crying like a baby, begging me to stop. Is that what I should do? Ben. How do you think your dad earned the respect he gets? He'd never let himself be bullied. You've got to be the same. Doesn't matter how many of them there are or how strong they are. You've got to be a Mitchell. It's what they do best. Dad said I should always stick up for myself. Well, then think of how proud he'd be of you. Stella. Yeah? Can I go to school now? Of course you can. Oh. <sighs> so I'll pick you up after science club, yeah? Oh, is that the ringleader over there? He doesn't look that tough to me. No? No, he's nothing. You know what to do. And I'll be right here to back you up. Together we're going to put a stop to all of this. I said I'd be. And remember, be a man. Honey came round. Oh, Jess, Jess! Go on, Jess! Go on! Jess, come on, boss! Oh, you're a boss! Shoot, shoot! Go on, take the shot! Why? Oh, what a save! Come on, then! You get it now! You get it now! What's your problem, Mitchell? You are.
You said you'd be there for me. Oh, I did, didn't I? Just goes to show you shouldn't believe everything that people tell you. Now get up. <laughs> 